What's up guys, I just wanted to do a quick update video, uh, still working with the A7R Mark II and just wanted to show you guys the actual mini, uh, micro, excuse me, HDMI connection setup that I've got going on. Uh, this is the actual Sony branded one and let me see if I can get in closer and get you a better view of it. But they've redesigned the actual HDMI cable holder from the A7S and it's a lot smaller now. It comes with this kind of set screw here that you can see that is it's almost got push pin features but you push it in and you can twist it uh, lefty loosey righty tighty and it works and then the cable connects and goes around and runs up into this little threaded area here where you have a cap that you push the cable in and you can basically press it down and hold it in place and it works fabulous and it fits standard HDMI cable sizes so you guys will like that I know if you've used the standard version that came with the A7S it didn't fit a lot of cables you had to get special cables to make it work this one works great uh, in my opinion and right now I've got it set up and I'm just doing some testing on dual recording with my Atama Shogun which is right here as you can see just shooting into my kitchen got a articulating arm and I'm going uh, into an adapter micro HDMI to full size HDMI and that is a female and then I've got a male to male full size HDMI cable connected to the actual Shogun itself and it's been rock solid guys so far no issues whatsoever it is working um, <laughs> way more reliable than what I had going on with my A7S uh, when I was shooting with it and that was very frustrating because I couldn't always get the shots that I wanted but this is a very reliable setup and this is I mean I'm just shaking a little bit here but this is pretty solid rock solid um, this is plastic and what else is cool about it <laughs> bragging on this piece I, I'm very happy that Sony stepped up to the plate and did a better job with this as you can see this whole piece this is all part of this connector it slides in and hooks under this door that houses the headphone and microphone port and it locks into place very securely and it's just a all-around better design and if you need to you can still get to that multi port and it's labeled so if you wanted to technically you could leave this on all the time uh, the only thing that would make this piece better is if it was metal instead of plastic or aluminum or something but it is an uh, awesome uh, redesign in my opinion and a must-have so just wanted to give you guys a quick update I know this I'm, I'm rambling a bit but I want to share that with you please let me know if you have any questions or concerns and as always I'll see you in the next video with the next test I'm out of here see you